Okay. I keep saying warm up, like in between warm out and whatever. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, guys, lower body warm up. I am going to start again with walkouts. I showed the modification for walkouts in the upper body warm up, so please refer to that if you need a modification and you're unable to get to the floor. I also discussed both this big red band and the purple band in the upper body warm up, so please refer to that for both of those because we will be using those. So, for lower body, as always, every workout starts with three walkouts. Arms come over the head, core is in nice and tight, feet are shoulder width apart, and your goal is to keep your legs as straight as you can, but if you need to bend them to get to the floor, please do so. Nice and controlled walk to the floor, that runner's lunge. Remember, the foot has to get flat to the floor, so step where you can get it there. So we got a nice big runner's lunge on both sides. Then we go into that pigeon on both sides. Again, keeping our hips nice and square. We're not over here. Hips are square to the floor. Hold for three to four counts. Switch to the other side. We're gonna do those pike toe touches. So reaching opposite hand to ankle, come back to plank, squeeze my glutes, reach to the other side, come back to plank, squeeze my glutes. Keep those legs as straight as we can or bent, whatever you need to get yourself all the way back up, okay? So this is lower body, but our upper back is involved in a lot of lower body work. So we always warm up the shoulders a little bit with a lower body workout. So you're gonna grab your big red band and you're gonna give me 10 front to backs, just like you would do in an upper body warm up. okay? Getting those shoulders nice and loose, especially if we're doing deadlifts and things like that. We have a lot of upper body involved in those movements. So we have 10 front to backs that you'll do. You'll grab that band and give me 10 big pulls overhand. And again, 10 big pulls underhand, okay? From there, we're gonna go into our mini band. And you wanna use the heaviest mini band that you can. You want it to be challenging when you're doing this. We're trying to fire up those hips and get them nice and warmed up and loose. So you're gonna put that mini band on your ankles and we're gonna take this position. We're gonna roll our shoulders back, core is in tight, knees are soft, and we're going to hip hinge a little bit. You are not standing up straight for this. We have a hip hinge so that we have lengthened out the glutes and we are gonna step side to side. When I step side to side, my toe and heel hits the floor at the same time. I am not going with my toe and rotating the hip, okay? Toe and heel, toe and heel, side to side. All right, so you're gonna do 30 of these guys. Next, you've got heel taps. So we're gonna come down in about a quarter squat, shoulders are back, core is engaged, and you're gonna step out at a diagonal. All right, making sure we're keeping tension on that band the whole time, and we're gonna step out, and we're gonna get these quads going and getting them nice and loosened up. You have 30 of these as well, 15 on each leg. Your third one, shoulders back, abs tight, slight hip in the hinge or slight hinge in the hips. You are literally going to squeeze butt cheek by butt cheek. So I'm gonna squeeze my left butt cheek, step my left foot back. Squeeze my right butt cheek, step it back. So you'll see it's not a big range of motion that I'm stepping back. I'm squeezing and stepping, squeezing, and stepping just right here, okay? You have 30 of these guys as well. All right, then you're going to bring the band above the knees and we're gonna do some squats. So we're gonna get shoulder width apart, abs in nice and tight, chest is high, and we're gonna squat. As I'm squatting, I am pushing against that band, okay? Resisting the urge for those knees to come in as we squat, keeping my weight back in my heels, core is engaged, and I'm gonna lower. You got 15 of those guys. Last but not least, you're gonna bring your band down and you're gonna put it across your shoes like this. And we're gonna hit those hip flexors, okay? So core is in nice and tight and I'm gonna drive. And I'm gonna pull that knee as high as I can, as forcefully as I can. Like I'm driving that knee up to the sky or trying to break, I'm holding a piece of wood and I'm trying to break that piece of wood. So you're gonna do 15 on one leg 15 on the other, okay? Once we're done with that, you're ready to start lifting some weights.